everyone! So today we're talking all about my August hits and misses and this is going to be a long video because I have so many favorites. I have beauty favorites, I have some skincare favorites, I have fashion favorites. Do y'all remember the last time I had a fashion favorite? It's been a hot second. I have my wine favorite, I have a few hate it's. It's going to be an awesome little video, so get excited. And if you like favorites videos, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already because we're getting so close to 18,000, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the favorites. Okay, so my first favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I have been actually really, really enjoying this. I've been using it all month, and I'm kind of going through it kind of quickly. We're already down to here. But if you have dry skin you need this primer in your life. Now I don't use this by itself just because I do like to pair it with a smoothing primer just because I do have like a pore problem. But I like to take two pumps of this after I do my sunscreen and just put it on my skin and just leave it to a nice moisturized base and I don't have to worry as much about having like dry skin. And I just think it's awesome. I really like it. Works for me big fan. Okay, my next makeup favorite is something that might be controversial, but if you've been watching my channel for the past month or so, this probably won't be a big surprise to you, but I've been loving the Subculture Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really, really like it, y'all. I'm wearing it right now. I've been wearing it all the time, and whenever I wear this palette in videos, a lot of y'all ask, what are you wearing on your eyes? And it's this, and I just love this because the color selection is so, so cool. Is it a little hard to work with? Yes, it actually is like, you know, you need to kind of baby it, but if you just take your time with it, you can get a really beautiful look, and I love how the colors kind of challenge you to do something a little bit more creative. Not saying my eye makeup today is very creative, but like, this is kind of my go-to whenever I use this palette. If you're somebody who loves to play with eyeshadow and you've been wanting something a little different, this is what you need because it's different and it's good. Alright, my next favorite is a bronzer that I've been using all month and I have re fallen in love with it. This has been my collection on and off since high school, so this is kind of like a holy grail. And it's the Laguna Bronzer, and this is in their new like sun mist some diffuse, sun kiss, sun, some, something with the sun, I don't remember, but it's one that looks like this and kind of has like a chevron print in it, but I have been using this all month, my chevron print is almost gone, but I love this bronzer, it is so good to really warm up your face, I also still really love my Marc Jacobs one, but that one's limited edition and I feel pet talking about it, but this one's awesome, I mean, it makes you look like you actually have a tan or something, and it's really, really nice. The mascara that I've been loving this month is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This stuff is really, really good, y'all. Everybody's been loving it. If you love volume, I think you'd really like this. Um, the, it's very comparable to the Better Than Sex from Too Faced, but it's a fraction of the price. And the wand's a little bit smaller, just like a hair smaller. But it's a nice dry formula. It adds so much volume. It builds really well on itself, and it doesn't move. So, I love it. And another drugstore beauty item that I've been loving this month is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. It's what I'm wearing as my highlight today. And it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. They need to come out with some more colors. I was at the drugstore store actually today and I saw that they had other highlights but it's like a rainbow fairy dust highlight and then a purple unicorn highlight and I'm like no I don't want that I want something like this or maybe like a nice pearl a nice like topaz just like stuff like that that's actually kind of wearable but this is the only normal color they have right now it's in the shade molten gold but it's a perfect gold because it's not too yellow and I love it I just love it. My next beauty favorite is the lip product I'm wearing right now, and it is from NARS, and it is their new Power Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Woman. This is so, so good. It's honestly probably the most lightweight liquid lipstick I own because it is so watery, but it's still so pigmented. Like, it's not patchy, it's not flaky, it doesn't streak. It goes on like any other liquid lipstick, but the consistency is so much thinner, and the applicator is really cool. At first, I wasn't sure how to feel about it, but after using it a few times, I really love it because it is a really, really skinny point, so you're really able to be precise with the application, which is very important when it comes to a pigmented liquid lipstick. I love it. I love this color, especially for fall. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Okay, and my last, like, official, like, makeup beauty favorite is actually a tool, and this is courtesy of my mom, so thanks, mom. And this is the Surratt Beauty Eyelash Curler, and she had been raving about this for, like, months now, it feels like, and how I need to get this curler. I need to get it. It's amazing. It's better than the one you already have. Like, it's so good. And I was like, I like my curler. I have the Shiseido, or 
or whatever, the other one. And I mean, I really like that one. But I guess she was tired of me not buying it, so she just surprised me with it herself and was like, you have to talk about this on your channel, you just gotta share it with people, it's that good. And well, mom, you were right. This is actually really, really good. And what makes it different than any other eyelash curler on the market is that it's pretty flat, if you can tell, like the actual... You can kind of tell there the actual bend is in such a sharp bend where you won't get every single lash. With this, since it's a little flatter, you can get all the outer corner lashes, all the inner corner lashes, and it really just makes your lashes look that much longer when you actually curl them and you curl all of them. And the curl this gives me really this whole throughout the day. Um, granted, I don't have really straight lashes. They're pretty just like average, but it works for me. I like it. Thanks, Mom. All right, so now let's talk body care and skincare. So I have one, like, true skincare favorite this month, and it is from the brand Ole Hendrickson, and this is their Transforming Walnut Scrub. It has walnut powder and ginseng extract, and it is a physical exfoliant. And this is actually really good. This is another thing that my mom was like, you need to try this. I really like the scent. It smells kind of fruity. Kind of like a fruit cake, but like better, you know? And I really like using this. I only use it maybe once, twice a week, depending on how much makeup I'm wearing that week. And it really just deep cleans your skin. And if you are somebody who really likes a good physical exfoliant, kind of like the St. Ives exfoliants, then I think you'd really like this one. This one has better ingredients than the St. Ives. And I feel like it's a little bit more finely milled, so it's a little bit more comfortable, but it works. And good stuff. My next body care favorite of the month has to go to my Brazilian bum bum or boom boom or whatever it's called stuff. I love the scent of this. So I ended up getting this as a set so I was able to save a little bit of money but these are really really pricey. Um, this is just the bum bum cream or boom boom. I don't know how you pronounce it. All I know is it smells delicious. It just smells like a coconut, like, dream. Like, is this what Brazil smells like? Because if so, I gots to go. Uh, but this is how much I've used in, like, a month and a half. And, I mean, it's lasting me a while. I also do have the body spray. And that one's fine. I don't think it's necessary. But the lotion and the body wash is where it's at. This is the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. So, so, so good. Especially if you use these together. Oh, you're just going to smell delightful. Now, as far as perfumes go, the scent I've been loving this month is the Hermes Gardenia. Uh, for me, this smells just like, it smells like the beach. Like, it just kind of brings me back to going to Panama City Beach with my family. It kind of reminds me of the smell of, like, my aunt's house. And I really, really love it. The name says Gardenia, and there's definitely a hint of floral in there. But for some reason, it smells like the beach to me. I think it's really nice. I love it for summer. Is that a bug? Ew, there's a bug. Okay, Bentley's concerned, but we handled it. So, I don't know what I was saying, but I love this stuff. If you want to... Whoops. I'll get that later. Um, but if you want to treat yourself to a nice summery perfume, even though it is about to go into fall, but like you can still smell like summertime, this one is really, really, really nice. Okay, moving on to fashion favorites. I know I haven't done a lot of fashion videos on my channel in a long time, but I don't know. My passion has been with makeup. I do have a degree in fashion, I will say, but I don't know. I just have been finding myself buying more makeup than anything, but this month I purchased some new things and I freaking love them. So the first thing is a pair of shoes and these are some cute little platforms from Cole Haan. They look like this. They have a nice cognac suede with this beige stitching up at the top and then they just wrap around your ankles just one super simple and the platform is maybe like an inch and a half tall two inches in the back but it's definitely very reasonable and since they're platforms they're super super easy to walk in because they're basically flats but if you're a shorty like me they make you a few inches taller and these are shoes that I can wear to work and since I live in Florida I can wear these year round and I did check and they do have them online on sale right now and they also have them in black kind of want to get the black for myself because I love these so much, but they're just super, super cute. I really love them. They're definitely on trend. I would say they'd be good going out shoes, but I just wouldn't want anybody to spill anything on them since they are suede, but I mean, wear at your own risk. But these are so cute, right? I love these. All right, another favorite is something that is tangled right now. Great 
fantastic. But it is this choker that I got. Well, it's not really a choker. It's like a layered necklace that I got from Target a few days ago. Well, more like a couple weeks ago, maybe. But I have been wearing this all the time in videos, and I think it looks so, so good. So it just looks like this, if you can kind of see. Not really. But it has like a thicker, kind of closer choker, a few little dangly bits, some mixed metals. And I just think it's really, really nice. And for like Target prices, you can't beat it. I want to say it was like $14, but I mean, it kind of looks like that on. It's really, really cute. Trust me. I really love this. My next favorite is a shirt that I actually got last time I was in Athens. And in case you don't know, that's where I'm from. And whenever I go there, I like to go shopping downtown because they have so many cute little shops. And I was going to include this in last month's favorites, but I couldn't find it. But I finally found it and I still love it. So I'm going to include it right now. And it is from the brand Tailgate, which I think is something to do with American Eagle. But it's just a graphic t-shirt that says sweet as a Georgia peach. It's super, super soft. I got the size medium just so it'd be a little bit more loose and I just think it's the cutest dang thing ever and they also have a lot of really cute collegiate stuff. I'm personally a Georgia Bulldog fan because that's where I went to school so they have a lot of cute Georgia stuff that's a little bit more I don't want to say fashion forward but like unique and fashion forward and then they have stuff like this that is super super cute so I love this and if you're from Georgia I think you need it. And my last fashion favorite is this dress that I got from Red Dress Boutique. It's just a really pretty lacy high neck, kind of like a mustard yellow. I've been wearing it a lot in videos and then just out and about. And it kind of has these, not pleats, what would you call these, like ruffled tiers. And I'll be honest, it's not the most flattering, especially if you have, you know, some, some girls to work with. But it's so comfortable and, I don't know, if you're really like, feeling the volume, you just need to go for it. And this definitely goes for it. I got this in a medium just because I noticed it might be a little short if I got the small and I wanted to be able to wear this to work. So the medium works perfect for me, but again, I'm 5'2", so if you're tall, it might be a little short. But it is super, super cute. I love this color, and I think it would look great for fall. Like, pair it with a bomber jacket. That'd look good. And I also really like the dress I'm wearing. I haven't worn this, like, out and about yet, but I also got this from Red Dress. I'll do, like, a close-up so you can see. But it's just a really cute, kind of like a free people-inspired dress, but not a free people price. And I thought it'd be really cute for fall, too. So I guess we can throw this in as, like, an honorary favorite. All right, y'all, so it's time to talk about everybody's favorite topic, my wine favorite, and this month it's a twofer because they're kind of like one and the same. They're the same brand, just one's a white, one's a red, but I really like them both, and I'm one of those people, like, if you ask me if I prefer whites or reds, I'm going to say, like, it depends on the day. Like, in the summer, I definitely prefer whites just because they're a little fresher, but I could still go for a red, but in the winter, I'm most likely to choose a red. I don't know. It just depends on, like my mood. But these wines are delicious. They are both from Trader Joe's. It's the Wishflower brand or company and this is just a white blend. This is the red blend. They're like six bucks and they're so so good. The white is a little bit sweeter than I usually go for but it's not too sweet where it's gonna make you feel sick. So I do like this and then the red isn't as dry as like a lot of reds I enjoy. So if you're somebody who likes the idea of kind of looking sophisticated with a glass of red in her hand but you don't necessarily love the flavor of a red, I think you'd like this one and then same goes with the white. If you like the idea of a sweet wine for like summer or something but you don't really like sweet wines, this one's pretty good. And for the price, six bucks, you can't beat it. Okay, y'all, so it's time to talk about my hate it's of the month. I have three, two of which you are probably already tired of me talking about, but I'm just going to have to go ahead and talk about it. Soap and Glory, One Heck of a Blot Foundation, and Thick and Fast Mascara. No, no, no. I included these in my most recent Makeup Bag Monday, as well as in a Soap and Glory a Full Face Makeup Tutorial, and... These did not work out for me. This one, the mascara just didn't do anything at all. And then the foundation is a liquid to powder. And when they say liquid to powder, they mean liquid to powder. It looks so, so like dry and patchy and it just clung to everything. And my skin isn't like super uber dry. Like it doesn't usually have flaky dry skin. 
but it's still like clingy. I don't know. It was just bad. So these are no good. And then another item that I was so excited to try, but I'm so disappointed in. It's from the brand IGK, and this is their low key cleansing walnut scalp scrub. I was hoping this would be kind of like a lesser alternative to the Christopher Robin or Christoph Robin, um, I don't know, salty sea salt scrub, because that stuff's amazing. No, this made my hair feel so, so dry, so tangled. Like, you see in the picture, it's a girl at the beach. That's how it made my hair feel, as if I just, like, hung out in the ocean for an hour. And I hate that feeling. I did not like this. No. All right, y'all, so those are all my August favorites and hated. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful or entertaining. Um, everything I talked about is going to be linked down below as long as I can find the link. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what would have been some of your favorites of the month. And if you have a wine suggestion, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for a good bottle of something. So that is everything for today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.